Good afternoon, and thank you for coming. First, let me start off by saying uh, Happy Independence Day to uh, all St. Lucians here and abroad. Thank you. And again, it's indeed a pleasure to be here to uh, bring to you guys a taste of St. Lucia right here in, uh, in Dubai. Whenever I think of St. Lucia and I think about food, first thing that comes to my mind is our national dish, which is our green banana and salt fish. So today, this is my first dish I'm going to prepare. Most times people think about the green fig and salt fish. They, uh, the, the banana is uh, braised and the salt fish stew has been made and, and it's served right, right on top of it. But today I'm going to do a different twist to it. I'm going to make a green banana and salt fish salad, which is the same thing, it's just in a different style. I know some of y'all, maybe your great-grandmothers or mothers have done so many different versions of green banana and salt fish that I can't even imagine, you know. But today I'm going to start off with mine. So I have some green banana which is uh, already braised. So I'm going to start off by sauteing my, uh, my herbs and, and spices. And this is essential to develop flavor. And this is what Caribbean is all about. Color, the flavor, texture. And this is all what this dish has in it. A little pepper. Still sticking with the colors, red, green, yellow. Salt it up nicely. There you go. A little onion. Still keep it with the color. Right in there. Quick saute just to get the flavors out. So I got my bowl right here. I'm going to add my green banana. Add a little salt. And some garlic. There we go. Cook it down. Just need to add a little more oil in there. And then we add our salt fish. So this is actually cod, which was fresh cod. So I actually salted myself last night in my room. Yeah, it's a true story, yeah? Goes right in there. So even when you're back home, you don't have to use the dry salt fish if you don't want to. You could always make your own salt fish. Check the local fisherman, see what he has. Even the scraps you could use. Salt it, get it dried, make your own salt fish. And it goes right into my bowl, just like that. Oh my goodness. Can we see that? This looks beautiful. This says St. Lucia all over it, you know. So that's going to add some fresh herbs in there. I got some parsley and cilantro. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. So I'm just going to add a little citrus to it. Using some fresh lime. Yes. And I'm just going to add a little, a little more olive oil to refresh it up, you know. Oh, shit. And a little mayo. Now, if you don't like mayo, you could also add a little mustard to it. Just to substitute for your mayo. It's up to you. And there you go. Easy, quick recipe. 
You could also do it on the go. You could prep it in advance, have it in your refrigerator, and do it for if you have a party or something. And you just put it all together just like that. So here we go. This is our national dish, the green banana and saltfish, in the salad version. Thank you. So I'm just going to put it together to see. Well, to show you guys how pretty for it looks. You guys don't feel hungry right now? There you go. So there we have it. Our green banana and saltfish. Well, it feels great. I mean, it's a pleasure being here, representing uh, my island. And I must say, I mean, the reaction of the crowd really, I was overwhelmed. And I'm really happy about it. So you put on your own twist to some classic dishes and that's received pretty positive reviews. Why do you think the need to um, reinvigorate in a way our, our typical dishes? Well, most times people tend to stick to the same basic thing all the time. When you know it's, it's always good to uh, twist it around, you know, make it your own, you know. Just like uh, the banana. The banana was, it was not actually a St. Lucian product, you know. The banana, the banana actually came to St. Lucia by the British. And guess what? We took this banana and we made it our national dish. So it's the same thing we could do with any other thing, you know, make it ours. I think St. Lucians are very good at making, taking stuff and making it theirs as well. I like the new taste of the food. It was a really nice experience. It's make me thinking about uh, visiting St. Lucia for food and fun. And like I said, the reaction that I got, the feedback, it really made my day as well. Uh, my review is fantastic stuff. I have a line to tell you. <laughs> Yo, I was truly amazed by, you know, the dish that he created there. Especially the green fig and saltfish. I figured, you know, that would be something basic, but he put his twist in it and I'm, I was really taken away by it. And, you know, big up, of course, to Chef Elijah in the culinary arts. It's a beautiful thing, actually, being here at the Expo. So much talent in St. Lucia, you not just culinary, but, you know, in terms of dance, uh, creatives. And I hope that, you know, all the stakeholders involved here today are very inspired because I truly am and I'm just happy and blessed to be here. So my second dish is going to be a grilled fish suskai. I know everybody loves a good suskai, you know. I mean, if you're from St. Lucia and you don't know what a suskai is, then guess what? You're not a Lucian, you know. There you go. So the suskai actually has a unique story to it as well. I mean, this is what my great-grandmother said to me, you know. In the time when they used to go to the, uh, to the beach, I mean, what they would do, they would take the, the, the seawater and chop the garlic and the herbs and everything in there, put lots of lime in there as well. And they would catch the fish and roast the fish and put the fish right into the salt water with all the, the, the herbs in there, you know. And the secret recipes in there as well is the coconut oil. St. Lucia uses a lot of coconut oil as well, which is very good for the suskai. And the suskai is a very famous sauce in, in St. Lucia. Why? Because everybody believes that they make the best suskai. Nobody feels that my suskai is better than your suskai. So, so today I do the version of my suskai. And again, I'm going to put a twist to my suskai as well. I'm using, um, I'm going to add mango and avocado to my suskai. I'm going to start by adding a little salt. So it's like I'm making my seawater, you know. So sometimes you'd have a suskai, it's sour, because some people tend to add um, vinegar in there, which I don't add vinegar in there. I keep it straight fresh, fresh lime or fresh lemon. So it's just salt, lemon, There you go. Then the garlic. 
Lots of garlic in it. Very important as well. This is the key. And again, we add the, what I call love to it, you know. The peppers. Lots of love. Peppers. Herbs. Lots of herbs. There we go. Then we mix this up nicely. Next step, the oil. And don't be afraid to put the oil in it. It's all right. There we go. Add some more lemon. And then we add, so this is a suskai right here. So the suskai is basically uh, the citrus with the lots of herbs and, and, and garlic. So now you could add anything you want to add in there. You could do a cucumber suskai, a mango suskai, a citrus suskai, it doesn't matter, whatever you want to put in there. So now I'm just going to add my avocado and my mango, just like that. Mix it all up. A little more oil. A little more salt. Just send a little salt in there, just like that. Now, if it's too sour, all you have to do is taste it. And you could always add a little sugar to it. To balance it out a little, a little sweet, a little sour. Mix it up. And there you go. So this is my suskai. Doesn't this look happy? Guess what? If I was in there, I'd be happy too, you know? Definitely be happy too. And to serve this, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start sharing off my... Uh, my fish. So I'm just going to do a light season on the fish. A little, a little oil. Salt. Now the fish you don't want to over-season as well, because you want to make sure you taste the fish. Most times some people marinate the fish so much you don't, even you don't even taste the fish, you know. You taste more seasoning, more garlic, but I want you to taste the fish. Plus, I mean, look at this wonderful suskai that's going to come on this fish. There we go. So I'm just trying to get a nice golden brown color on my fish right now. So while this is getting ready, I have the pre-sample for you guys so we could try. Just a few more minutes on our fish. This is ready.
So again, there we go. And down goes the avocado and mango so sky. There we go. We had fish with our mango and avocado so sky. Welcome to St. Lucia, guys. So in case you're thinking of going to St. Lucia or you are in St. Lucia at this present moment, this is the two main dish I recommend that you definitely have to try. Thank you for coming. Happy Independence. Have a wonderful day.